For anyone who's not necessarily a fan of Facebook, there is a redeeming feature of the HTC First. Beneath Facebook Home, it runs stock Android. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how to un-Facebook your HTC First. It's a commonly known fact that the HTC First is unlike most other HTC Android smartphones. Not only because it's the first smartphone to come prepackaged with Facebook Home, but because it does not have any version of Sensui running beneath Facebook's launcher. Instead, it runs a mostly stock version of Jelly Bean, Android 4.1.2. And unlocking this mostly stock interface and turning the HTC First into a stock Android device, a rare yet highly sought feature, is actually very simple. There are even various degrees in which you can disable Facebook Home. If you like Facebook Home and want to keep it active, but want a quick and simple way to jump back to the stock Android launcher, there's an easy way to do that. If, instead, you want a small dose of Facebook Home, but prefer the standard launcher, you can leave the lock screen notification portion of Facebook Home active. Or, if you really don't like Facebook Home and you only bought the first to enjoy an HTC device with stock Android out of the box, you can quickly disable all Facebook Home functions and forget it even exists. The hardest part is figuring out how you want to interact with Facebook Home, if at all. Fortunately, there's no real way to mess up here, so if you decide any of this is not for you, going back to how things were in the beginning is as simple as hitting a single icon. Seriously. To keep Facebook Home completely enabled and only jump to the stock launcher periodically, simply press the Home button, swipe left to access the application drawer, scroll down to the very bottom and select the More icon. This immediately takes you to the stock launcher. When you press the home button again, you'll jump right back into Facebook Home. It's that simple. Best of all, this More icon can be added to your Quick Launcher, the user-defined pages of applications to the right of the application drawer. Throw the Stock Launcher icon in one of these, and you're no more than three taps away from the Stock Launcher at any given time. Say you're not a fan of Facebook Home appearing when you press the Home button, but you don't mind it being the first thing you see when you hit the Power button. There's a quick fix for that, too. Pull down the notification shade and press the settings icon. Select apps, and in the all tab, find Facebook Home, which is listed as simply Home. Select Home, scroll down, and press clear defaults. When you press the Home button again, you will be prompted to select a default launcher. Select Launcher, which is the stock launcher, and press Always. When you press the power button on your device, you will now see your missed notifications in Facebook Home. You will also have access to the previous application, Facebook Messenger, and the Facebook Home application drawer. But when you press the Home button, you'll be taken back to the stock Android launcher. If neither of those are what you're after, there is one final solution shy of rooting the device, and it's most definitely the easiest of them all. From anywhere in Facebook Home, press the Menu button and select Home Settings. The very top option is Turn Off Facebook Home. Confirm the action and reap the benefits of a stock Android experience. If you later decide you want to turn Facebook Home back on for any reason, simply tap the Home icon in the application drawer. Select Home always, and you're back to normal. Remember though, if you select the stock launcher as your default, Facebook Home will once again appear whenever you press the power button to turn the device on. To turn this off again, you will have to disable it in the Facebook Home settings. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and give us a follow in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow, and you can follow me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.